Okay, okay, exaggerated reaction. But at the same time, this is the first feeding video of 2021 and that is pretty cool if you ask me. What's up guys, welcome back to another video on my channel. My name is Dion and you're watching Reptiliatus. In today's video, we are going to be feeding my geckos. Yes, this is another feeding my geckos video, the first of the month. I usually try and do one of these every month because who doesn't love seeing all the geckos eat? And of course, you can see that it's dark around me besides the ring light, but uh, I guess in front of me. And that is because most of these animals are nocturnal, if not crepuscular, but they're, they're pretty well nocturnal. For today's question of the day, we did talk about New Year's resolutions last video, and you guys had some awesome ones. Really excited to hear updates on those halfway through to the end of the year if you guys want to update me. But I want to ask you guys, what are your reptile specific goals for this year? Resolutions are one thing. You know, maybe some of you guys are breeding your pets. I want to know what your intentions are in the way you express your hobby, in the way that you take care of your pets this year. So let me know in the comment section down below. As always, I'll give your comment a heart and then we'll engage in a little bit of a conversation afterwards. Also, I want to let you guys know that if you'd like to support this channel further, I have a Patreon page as well as a merch store and you can see the links down below to those if you'd like to support me and my animals and help this channel grow even more i'd like to give a huge thank you and shout out to my patreons i really appreciate you guys so much thank you for all your support i felt like it was okay just using regular tongs i did get these it's just they're so annoying to use everything slips out of them but whatever Hey look, one of the crocodile skinks shed. That's pretty cool. Anyways, yeah. So, let's get feeding them now. Uh, you can see one of the Toke twins who I might add is getting pretty big. Is patiently waiting. Well, not even patiently. Tiki, my man. How you doing, buddy? Hey. Look at this guy. He's gorgeous. I cannot wait to show you what is in store for the new enclosure. I'm pointing at this like it's just this being redone. No, 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 no. If you didn't see the video, check out this update. These guys are getting a sick new enclosure. You want one first? Nice. Tasty. Oh, that one was juicy. Tiki. Tiki. Come on, not the twin. You gonna come? Come on, Mr. Teeks. Oh, nice. I don't know what spooked him there. That was weird. What are you looking at, buddy? No, you had one already. You get one. Come on. This one always takes way too long to decide if it wants to eat, and then its sibling comes and steals it. Oh, look who's back. All right, Mr. Teeks, you coming for some more? Or are you gonna take it? Oh! Holy mackerel. Okay. Ooh, that's some good crunching. Where are you going? Tiki, you having some issues there, buddy? No, not again! Tiki. He's having a weird day, isn't he? Hello there. Oh, some eyeball licking. Oh, okay, you two back there. Oh, Tiki. Wow, look at him go. Okay, well that was pretty cool. Oh geez. Hey, 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 be nice. Mr. Teeks. Come on. <laughs> he can go anywhere he wants, but he wants to go home because that is his safe space. All right, come on. Yeah, you got this. Come on, a little further. Ooh. Hey, 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 hey. Be nice. 
Now that's not aggression or anything. That's just a little bit of food competition. They're not hurting each other or anything like that. Okay, cool. You got it. You, sir. Are you done for the night or do you want a bit more? Oh, you do want more. Okay, well, are you gonna come out again for us? Tiki. Yeah, come on. It's out here waiting for you. Tiki. Come on. That's not Tiki. That's not Tiki. That's not Tiki. Oh, man. Are you gonna come out? Yeah, you can do it. Go for it. Good job. Hey, buddy, you snooze, you lose. All right, well, I think we gave the Tokes plenty of soup worms there for one meal. Let's move on. Okay guys, so I just finished up making some watermelon flavored Pangea. Let's go ahead now and feed Jabba and Leela, the adults. All right guys, sorry about the ring light. In the event that you are somehow newer to my channel, this is my Rachodactylus lichianus pair enclosure where Jabba, the male, and Leela, the female, live. Usually what I do is set one dish of food down here and we're gonna have to do a nice Think replenish or rejuvenation of the soil soon. I'll probably make a video about that. And then we'll set another dish probably down here. And each gecko respectively will get to their food. One dish of the diet here. And I can already hear. Oh, that's because Leela's right there. <laughs> hey girl. Or we're gonna leave that there for her. And then we have another dish that I'll set in this corner. And I'm sure Jabba will find that quickly as well. I'm not sure if they'll come out with all the lights on. I find that if anything, my lychees are definitely more shy and secretive. The fact Leela's already there is pretty shocking to me, um, but let's see. Yeah, so I'm thinking we're definitely gonna need to dim the lights if we wanna have any chance of seeing these two eat on camera. Let's see if that works out. <laughs> Yeah, I don't know what the deal is with these two, but they've been pretty shy lately. There's Jabba, he's in his hide. Look at the pattern on this big boy. Can't wait to see what the baby we held back is gonna look like, but I'll show them to you in a sec. So we'll just let them do their thing. And I'm sure that by the time we fed everyone else, we're gonna come back and look and both of these dishes are probably gonna be empty. We'll see. All right, everyone, so a few weeks ago, I showed you that my last clutch of Lichianus eggs for 2020 hatched. You can check out the link up above if you missed that video. These are the two babies, they're doing fantastic. As I mentioned, I guarantee to you guys that I'm gonna keep one of them and raise it. The other, I'm already advertising online for sale. But uh, yeah, let's go ahead now and give you guys a little update, see how they're doing. Show you the first baby who's hiding in here. Also gonna give them some food in their little rubber dishes. Here is baby number one. Now this one has been a little bit more picky when it comes to eating. So I do try to occasionally spoon feed him, so to speak. Like I'll literally come in there and, oh, where are you going? Like I'll take a little bit of diet on this and just gently kind of try to boop his snoop, so to speak, with a bit of food, because he's not always eating it out of the dish. And you'll see that the way I do this is usually I put some on the snout. Oh, he's gonna jump. But then I also touch the nostril so that they're more inclined to lick it up right away. 
Okay, she's licking. Go again. And again. That was a good amount. If he eats that, that's already not a terrible meal. So yeah, as you can see, I'm literally just making sure that there's a good amount of food in here for the baby. And uh, let me just put that in here, put the hide back, put the fake plants back, add a little bit of extra sense of security for the animals. And then we will we'll gently take the baby who is now climbing on my tripod and put them back. Leapy, leapy, wow. And there we go. Second baby is over here. And as I said, this is the one that's eating pretty regularly. Let's uh, get their food ready here. Put a good amount in, because they are eating a lot. Perfect. So I'll just preemptively have that in the container for the baby. And here's this little guy. He's just schnoozing over here. Hi. So right away, you can see they're a little bit more pudgy and filled out. But these babies are doing so great. And oh, nice jump there, bud. Let's gently put everything back. Since this one isn't picky, we don't have to do any hand feeding. It'll eat just fine on its own, or on their own, I should say. And we'll gently let them go do their thing. Enjoy. Bon appétit, mon ami. And just as I suspected, Ah, we had some lychee action. Okay, friends, so while we wait for Pingu and Nona to come out of hiding, let's start feeding a few of my satanic leaf geckos. As you know, these animals have been in quarantine for a few weeks now, and they're doing quite well here. This is one of my males. He's just by the freshly changed water dish. As you can see, he has an incredible pattern. Let's see if he will accept a cricket from Tom's. I imagine he will. Right, let's see. Hello, sir. You like a cricket? Oh, he's eyeing it. Oh, well, I'll drop it in the enclosure and uh, he can decide. Nonetheless, it's always nice to see this boy because he's a really handsome gecko. A beautiful female here. Let's see if she will accept the cricket. Oh, 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 she's slipping a little. Oh, he got away. Yes. Go we'll get it. Oh, she missed. All right, I'm going to be nice to her. And. Oh, that's pretty wholesome. She drew her tail away. Whoa! Ninja cricket over here. Here you go. Come on for you. You got this. There you go. <laughs> uh, now, you have to catch the rest. I'm not helping you with any more. You get that one, but I'm not helping you with the rest. The rest are for you to catch. Okay, next we have a beautiful female. Let's see if this leaf wants to eat a cricket. Hello. Hello. Nice. She got it. Okay, next up we have another female. I really like the pattern on this girl. She's quite an extraordinary animal. She's going into shed as you can see. She has that kind of faded look to her. This girl usually, oh! Oof. Boom! I mean, look at all that texture. She almost doesn't look real because of all the shedding that's going on. Uh, has that really pale, shiny look. But isn't that pattern just incredible, beautiful? Here is one of my favorite males. I can't wait to eventually pair him up with some of those girls that have all the pattern too. I mean, look at this guy. Oh, he's on fire. Would you like a cricket, mister? Oh, dang. Well, he certainly got that. Nice. Oh, poor Jiminy. Yeah, look at this guy. Isn't he unbelievable? There's that poop. Get it, buddy. You got it. Nice. Here's another pretty cool male. 
He is sleeping, but I think he will wake up from the gym and he's running around. Hey buddy, you want, uh, want a cricket? He just zoned in on it. Tell yours if you want it. Oh, nice! Good job, little man. Honestly, that's probably our best one yet. Well, let's move on. Okay, so this is another female with some pretty cool pattern. Hello, oh, girl. Up here. I have a cricket for you. Yay! Thank you. You're definitely putting on a nice show for us. Thank you very much. Here's another one of my favorite females. As you can see, this juvenile female is just beautiful. Let's see if she's hungry. Dropping a few crickets in. Oh, here we go. Cricket, you're done. Well, guess not yet. She missed. I think she's about to get them. Yep. Don't worry about the paper towel. It always just kind of slips away. Yep, perfect. Honestly, look at the texture of this animal. It looks like it was painted onto the image. They're such beautiful reptiles. Check out this male, guys. He's super, super pale. I think this guy will eat on camera. I had to guess. Yes, come on. Do it, I dare you. Oh yeah, nice. He got it. He most certainly got it. Well done, sir. Well done. Very pleased with the results of this feeding. At least we got a lot of fence on here this time. First change. Because usually we don't. Usually we don't get quite as few feedings on camera. Okay, so the last fan we're gonna try and feed here is pumpkin. A few of you guys have some sort of random obsession with him. I mean, I don't blame you. He is absolutely gorgeous. And he is also named, which most of my fans are not. So there is some reasoning, I guess, behind him being a favorite to a lot of people. He's usually not one to eat on camera, if I'm being honest. So we'll have to see what he decides to do. Maybe he'll bless you guys with a feeding response. He's already actually looking pretty interested, which is fantastic with the pH. But oh, man, this guy has come such a long way from last December when I got him. He was in rough shape. Oh, almost, buddy. He was so thin and he had damage to his lip. I took him to the vet. He had Betro treatment and He's just so plump and healthy now. It's just awesome. So very, very happy about how Mr. Pumpkin here is doing. Nona. Uh, okay, well, Nona's over here. I probably could reach her, but here's the thing. I bet you my life, I mean, also because I really know my pets well, that Nona is going to be asleep right here in the morning. She likes to hang on to these ZZ plants and just kind of nestle herself halfway on the glass. And Pingu is nowhere to be seen. I think she's still inside this cork. Being a little cheeky girl. She was in there earlier. So I'm thinking we're gonna take advantage of the fact that these geckos are crepuscular, which means that they're active both at dawn and dusk. And we'll feed them in the morning because they haven't eaten in a few days and I hand feed them all the time. So I know they'll eat if I do it that way. So tomorrow morning, I'm going to feed them right before editing the rest of this video. Should work. All right, guys. So we are now in the reptile room. And just as I suspected, we have Pingu sleeping in her dracaena, Janet Craig and Nona is right there sleeping on the glass. Yeah, she always sleeps like this. Fortunately, she's not doing anything that could lead to floppy tail, so I'm fine with it. But yeah, 
Let's try and feed these ladies since it is still fairly early in the morning. Sabzi, you're not a gecko, so you're not gonna be on this video. You weren't even supposed to make an appearance. Everybody's supposed to be eating at night, but you know those girls, they just hide away and have to eat in the morning. Yeah, yeah, I know, yeah. Don't worry guys, she'll be in a video soon. I actually really wanna try something. Just gonna gently, Pink is like, what is happening? You're okay. Come on out, silly goose. There's Pingu, everyone. Oh, the light just bounces off of her. The camera can't take it. But isn't she beautiful? She's just a beautiful girl. Hi, can I bring you to the desk? Currently gonna set her down there for a sec. And now we're gonna grab Nona. Little Nona, who's not so little. I think she's gotten bigger than Pingu, honestly. It's definitely a few grams larger, to say the least. I can feel it. But yeah, let's see if these little ladies will eat in each other's company, was what I wanted to see if we could do. So here they are, my two crusties. Don't jump. Oh, no. Yeah, there you go. Okay, that works. <laughs> she, like, stepped right into it and was like, wait a second, I like this. Are you going to do the same? Nona. Here. <laughs> there you go, guys. Uh, that's pretty wholesome. Look at these two. Oh man, you guys are so cute. I haven't had them do something like this in a long time. Look at these cuties. Pingu, why is your foot in there though? I gotta say, that's just, that's just a little weird. Look at you guys. And yeah, they're just swallowing. <laughs> there you go. Get your tongues out of each other's mouths. You just licked Pingu's eyeball. So there you have it, guys. What a great way to wrap up another wonderful gecko feeding video. It's always a blast to show you guys these animals, and I'm so glad you enjoy seeing them too. And that was kind of fun at the end, I gotta say watching these two share a feeding dish. So I'm gonna put these two away. And with that being said, if you guys enjoy videos about specialty pets, definitely consider subscribing Subscribing down below. Oh my gosh, Nona. And then dinging the notification bell so that you don't miss another one of my videos. And if you wanna see more videos about these hooligans, click the link up above to get to my Feeding Gecko playlist. Man, she really pops on the black shirt, eh? Anyhow, <laughs> hope you guys have a wonderful rest of your week, and I will see you all on Friday, where we bring you some of the cutest spiders on the planet, if you ask me. All right, Nona, you ready to go home? Yeah, I think you are. Take care, guys. <laughs>